my YouTube, so I don't. Oh my god. And this little mukbang. I guess a car mukbang. Um, so here I have. I'm trying this burger for the first time. And it smells good. It has like the barbecue sauce. It's from McDonald's. It's the one that you see in the commercials, it's like chicken barbecue mayo sandwich. I'll be trying this right now. And I got some fries as well, and it's bright. So, you know what it looks like? It looks really, really good. It's a lot of sauce, and the fillet is fairly. It's okay in size, like the fillet they have that's like really cheap. Bad the windows aren't for noises. That's my foot moving the car door because it was quite warm, so I wasn't farting. Those aren't for noises. Okay. 50 pesos with like rice. Okay, I'll take my first bite right now. So far, the breading. Really good so far. Didn't get a lot in the first bite. You can get a little bit of the spiciness of like the breading of the, the fillet which i'm kind of used to now i love the barbecue sauce because i always get barbecue sauce when i have like nuggets take my second bite now mm. Mm. it's good and it's so warm like not too hot, it's just warm. Mm -hmm. I was gonna say that it's like done approved, but I don't want Jeffree Star to sue me. Like, no, you should do Michelle D. By the way, have y'all like gone on that tea yet? Like, that's a lot. The entire thing is like huge. It sucks that she didn't give Jeffree any credit for that, actually. And I've seen like threads of other things that she's done bad and like unlike Jeffrey, the things that she's done are like fairly recent and they're still kind of going on. Like Jeffrey, whose drama like started years ago and people are just bringing them up for I don't know why. It's really weird why they're bringing it up. It's gonna adjust this a little bit. What if I like do this like as a like a Trisha Paytas video, like an unedited um, mukbang? That's not that doesn't look good. Look better. No, that looks worse. No, I'm actually I do because I wanted to like do a little mukbang with like this sandwich that's like new that I see on the commercials. I've been wanting it for quite a while now. And and it's really good. Oh my god, that was so bad for my camera. I got a Sprite. I don't know if I mentioned that. I'm trying to still prep this camera. I mean, I prepped it well earlier, but the angle's quite not the best. I also have some ketchup in my lap. Um, I'm literally just in a car that's not running. Just sitting here instead of eating with my parents inside. So I wanted to film. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm gonna finish this fry first. See, that's how you do ketchup. When you don't have like a place to dip it in and stuff. That's okay. I don't really care about the angle right now. I honestly think McDonald's have one of the best fries. As if you compare them to Jollibee. Jollibee's okay. But their fries are like a little stiff. They don't taste a lot like anything. And when they get cold, you don't really want to eat them anymore. While with like McDonald's fries, you can still enjoy them cold. You don't get like hard and stiff. Fur. Compared to Jollibee ones. Mm -hmm. Another thing I want to mention speaking of fries. I know in like the UK, or maybe in other parts of the world as well, K 
KFC fries are just skinny fries. And that's not how it usually is here in the Philippines because the f usual KFC fries here are like thick cut and they have like some breading seasoning outside almost the same seasoning as like their chicken so that used to be really good so one time my mom ordered fries and they were just skinny fries and they were really really white um and was we were so disappointed in that honestly So I'm in it right now, and I honestly never notice the mayo on my cheek. Oh my god, my light is gone. So I'm sorry, because I'm bothered by the mayo too. I love the barbecue sauce at McDonald's. It's really good with the mayo. You can really taste a lot of the mayo, just, which I'm fine. Which I'm alright with. I do actually have a story time. Like, I can have like a story time right now. But I don't think... I can't quite talk about it yet. It just happened earlier. And it kind of... Messed up my day. Now I'll be alright. I'll be alright. It's just how life is. You can't please everyone, you know? You just can't. Don't ever rush to things also, guys. Honestly. Well, today is actually July 3rd. And... Shane Dawson... Is currently... Doing a... Five-part series on the secret world of Jeffree Star. As of now, there are two episodes. But I am in the Philippines, so... The third one will be out in the fourth for me. And uh, I'm enjoying it really well. Really well? I'm enjoying it a lot. I've honestly never been like, hate. I never hated on Jeffrey. I just stopped watching his vids for a while, but I'm watching him religiously right now, again, as I used to. Because. I didn't know about his drama when I first found his channel. And I'm one of, yeah, as I said, I tend to try and like just please people. I go with bandwagon. So I got a bit like scared or shy that I even liked him or his videos. I stopped that. And then, even if I don't really know a lot of it, a lot of the drama he had before because he's really controversial but I don't know most of them uh, excuse me but I went and watched more of his video stuff and I really enjoy him honestly I don't get why people just keep on um what do you call this why people keep on bringing things from the past like don't you have other things to do with your life like last year people were getting tweets from 2012 or 2009 from Zoella and they were using that against her last year which was so weird like people changed guys like you are freaking hypocrites and it's so annoying sometimes but that's the part of the internet I don't really go to I'm just I just want to support who I stand and make sure they're good they're happy they're true to us but they they're also comfortable to only say what they want honestly you don't want everyone to know everything about you actually I could use more sauce I like up the excess like sauce on the sides when 
I get to like the middle part. And when you're squeezing the burger and the sauce just gets more inside, I like the milk. Just to, I want the flavors balanced in my mouth, you know? Look at how much it was. Um, the barbecue mayo chicken sandwich. Oh my god, this is so close to my face because... Oh yeah, I can actually read from this part. The meal is 96 pesos and they advertise in like the commercial that's 59 pesos but that's like only the a la carte. Like without... Like just the burger. Like sandwich. Is it only a burger with like... Is it called a burger because of... If, like, the thing inside the meat is, like, a patty. Oh, I just now got that. I like them better than burgers, like chicken sandwiches, because I feel like the meat... I've, because I guess it just feels fills me up better than, like, burger patties. I have a lot of, like, I have a lot of videos planned. I just don't have... The people to film them was because a lot of them like require a lot of people like collaboration almost and filming time i don't have time to film that's why i guess that's why i'm just kind of filming right now randomly while in the car a parked car i think my camera's dying yep it's dying i'm just gonna try finishing this burger before my camera dies completely hmm Mm. Mm -hmm. I actually had KFC earlier. My go-to right now for KFC. Because it's like both a budget, like a budget order. And also it's really filling. Is an a la carte flavor shots. Because those are like fun shots. For those who are, you, who are not from the Philippines or don't have these. Or are rich and doesn't like order the cheap things in the menu. Flavor shots are basically is like it, they're it's like a rice meal already. Like it has rice and a couple fun shots, which are just like their nuggets things with like different breading. And you have like mushroom gravy on top of the chicken. And so I ordered that. It's only 50 pesos when I'll, when you order an a la carte. And then when I feel like that's not enough for me. Because you can... Because you can get like... You can just get water. Because like, why not? Just go for water. Um, When that's not enough for me. And I need more. A little bit more. I order a side of mashed potatoes along with them. Y'all, I'm so thankful for potato stuff. They're so good. Have them fried, you can have them baked, you can have them steamed, have them boiled. There is now construction going on. Great. So, in the last few bites of my burger, my sandwich. Oh my god! <laughs> Excuse me. See, I'm impressive. I'm talented. I can burp like that. So, what, one thing I want to talk about real quick, even if there's like a loud ass constru construction going outside and my camera's dying. Earlier today, I watched like the um, YouTubers react, I mean teens, generations react, adults react to, react to Comic Con like trailers. And I noticed that like most of them, if not all, are like from DC. And let's talk about how DC is like going at it right now like we got aquaman titans um what else was i i think that was it but yeah i just wanted to mention that i don't know why but like aquaman looks cool i would i will watch it actually i wish it will do as well as wonder woman did wonder woman was nice I like have a vibe with like DC. They're also dark. Especially with how they like make out Titans will be. It's like so dark. Yeah, it's really dark. <laughs> and, like how they did with like Batman vs Superman. Everything's like dark and sad and depressing. We can always have that, you know. Like I can't really focus on like Batman and Superman a lot. While I was like watching it. Speaking of superheroes, um, there's finally a DVD of 
Infinity War and I immediately have like a co I already have a copy of the movie now. I never knew that I would be a superhero fan. I have zero regrets. I never shaded them either because I have a friend who's like a big fan of them. Have been for years. And just started this year and she's very welcoming. She answers my questions, you know. <laughs> Shout out to Aliano. I'm for real gonna do that series though. Like the guessing food thing. We're gonna have KFC, we're gonna have Jollibee, we're gonna have Chow King because I think they do have ketchup for like their show house. And like Burger King too. Like spaghetti, chicken. Their ketchups, their their gravy, the gravies. So to end this mukbang, this last bite, it has a nice amount of chicken on it, and a nice amount of sauce and. Mhm. Mm Only thing I would say is that I need more sauce on the burger. So if y'all actually did watch through this whole video, thank you for watching. I have some snot right now. I don't know why. But thank you for watching this video. Give it a thumbs up if you are feeling generous. And subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. I'm talking very fast because my camera is really going to die in any second. So click subscribe if you want to see more of me in the future. Click on the notifications if you want to be notified whenever I watch a video. And again, it's Nana. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.